A lot of important information coming up. But first, new developments tonight in Richmond. One of 11 suspects charged in the hazing death of VCU freshman Adam Oaks pleads guilty. Andrew White appeared in court this morning on charges of unlawful hazing and buying alcohol for a minor. On your side at six, Desiree Montilla was there. She joins us with reaction from Adam's family. This was an emotional day for Adam Oak's family after Andrew White pleaded guilty to two charges in connection to Adam's death. This is just our first glimmer of hope in all of this. Nearly 10 months after Adam Oaks died, Andrew White pleaded guilty to unlawful hazing of a student and buying alcohol for a minor. I think it's emotional, but at the same time, I, I can't help but think it's only one of 11. There's other boys involved and we still have a really, really long road ahead. The remaining 10 suspects in this case face similar charges after Oaks was found dead in an off-campus house on West Clay Street on February 27th. Adam received a bid to join Delta Chi. The fraternity chapter is now expelled from VCU. In court, prosecutors say Andrew White was Adam Oaks' big brother in the fraternity. Prosecutors say Oaks was given a cup deemed by some witnesses as unusually strong and a handle of whiskey to drink. At the time of his death, prosecutors say Oaks BAC was nearly 0.42 percent, more than five times the legal limit. Andrew White's defense attorney claims Andrew stayed with Adam throughout the night to take care of him, but Oaks family feels otherwise. A lot of sugar coating I felt like when in the reality of it, none of it is going to bring my cousin back. It's not going to make the pain any less. The charges Andrew White faces are class one misdemeanors, each punishable by up to a year behind bars and a fine of up to $2,500. It should never be a misdemeanor to haze someone to death. The punishment doesn't fit the crime. Andrew White's sentencing is scheduled for March 1st at 9 in the morning. On your side in Richmond, Desiree Montilla, NBC 12 News. All right, thank you.